Making a jewel cake. <laughs> Me, that's who. Been saving up my gems so fine for a cake that is divine. <laughs> <laughs> who are you hooing at? <laughs> I know, they're delicious. Now you see them? No, you don't. <laughs> mm. This is how you make a jewel cake. Stir in some gems and then you bake. Mm -hmm. Gonna eat, eat, eat it up. Gonna... <sighs> what happened to all my jewels? I had a bowl full of them here, and now I don't. Which means somebody took them. <laughs> who? That's what I'm asking, who? Who took my jewels? Oh, I'm who? This cake was gonna be so good! Why? Why? Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I have no jewels, I have no cake. I'm a sad little dragon with nothing to. Is it? Oh, oh goodness, I, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Well, I do have this cake to not bake. Oh, sorry, it's a bad time. Uh, inside joke, talk to me. It's just that Princess Cadence needs us to do a great job welcoming the head of the Equestria Games when she visits the Crystal Empire tomorrow. Oh, I know all about that. As if I wouldn't be any help at welcoming. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Of course you might be upset for not being invited, and here I am coming to ask you for a favor. You were probably going to say no anyway. All I had to offer you in exchange was one little jewel. What was that? <laughs> All I have is this jewel. That's a really big one. A really big, juicy, perfect for a cake topper jewel. Does this mean you'll do it? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. So while I'm gone, you'll take care of Angel. And tomorrow is Tuesday, which is his tail fluffing day. And it's really important for him to look good. Wait, what? You want me to take care of him? Oh, well, yes. But if it's too much trouble, I can always see if there's some pony else. Uh, we already agreed on the whole jewel thing, so I'll just... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Angel, aren't you just so excited? <laughs> See you tomorrow. You know, she's not the only pony with a pet that might need some watching. All I'm saying is, if Fluttershy thought that her beloved little friend shouldn't be left alone while you're busy in the Crystal Empire, then maybe that's just something to think about. <laughs> Tank's not some fuzzy little bunny. He can take care of himself. He's a strong, fearless, and totally together pet. But only because, uh, 
Hank's got a strict flying regimen, and, and someone needs to make sure that he doesn't slack off while I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> you know, the two of us are very diligent. Okay, whatever. Yes, yes. More importantly, as for Opal, she likes to eat every 36 and a half minutes. You groom her with her silken brush head to toe. Oh, and don't forget to put your pillow out in the middle. That's where she likes it. And the temperature in the room should always be exactly 81.4 degrees. That's the only way she can get to sleep. And, um... Oh, good. So, thanks for your help. And good luck to you. Ahem. I think the dragon was expecting a little something for his efforts. Almost as beautiful as the pony who gave it to me. Shouldn't you be critter-proofing the library or something? Tank has a tendency to... Critter-proofing. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> three down, three to go. What's that you said, Gummy? Uh-huh. Well, you're just gonna have to ask Pinkie Pie about that one. Ask, ask me! Go ahead, ask her. Why didn't you say so? I'll get you a bigger pond immediately. I think what Gummy's trying to say is... He's always wanted a pair of riding pants? His toenails need a new coat of shellac? He wants to floss twice a dance and it just once! <laughs> I think what Gummy's trying to say is that he'd like a little spike time. Who wouldn't? Spike time is the best. Alas, it doesn't come cheap. All I'm saying is that you might want to think about a helmet. You only want to get hit in the head by a flying turtle once. <laughs> a thousand plus carats of pure deliciousness. Looks like you got a regular pet daycare in here, Spack. We'll still be able to get some good playtime with Winona, like you said, though, won't you? She tends to get a little wild if she doesn't get her exercise. Exercise, sure. Of course. <laughs> I don't remember seeing critters on the invite list. That's because we're leaving him here with Spack. He's gonna do a little critter sitting for us. Oh, really? So sorry I'm late. Silly Bunny had hidden his brush. Be sure you get plenty on his tail or it won't get as poofy as he likes it. Come on, girls, or we're gonna miss the train. One more for the road. Oh, you little Come no, on here. No, no, no. <laughs> I love you more. No, I love you more. I love you more! I promise it'll be okay. I'll fluff your tail twice next week. Three times? Oh, I know. It's a chilly 81.2 in here. Spike, take care of this, would you please? You got it. So, uh, what are you thinking about that hooting little friend of yours? Suppose you want me to keep an eye on him, too. That would be nice. You sure you don't already have your hands full? Ah, oh, pshaw. I'll be fine. But, uh, just between you and me, I gotta give priority to the paying customers. <sighs> you absolutely sure you can do this? Of course. Wouldn't have agreed to it if I couldn't. Piece of cake. Speaking of cake, I got a little something I need to attend to. Yeah, like keeping an eye on a house full of critters. Uh, yeah, uh, that was totally what I was talking about. Relax. Go to your welcoming thing in the Crystal Empire. Spike's got it all under control. Come on, number four. 
Juicy, delicious jewels. Now what do I have? Missing rabbit and... chase you around all over the place when I could be enjoying some jewel cake. Watch me solve both our problems. You know, I'm supposed to be watching them, but you all have just hit it off so well that maybe, maybe I could let you take care of him instead. We would, but we've got some major crusaders business planned for today. Major. We're getting our skydiving cutie marks today. Ha! Yeah. Well... I suppose if you've got other plans, it's just you're so good with them. Like, get a cutie mark for bunny sitting good. A bunny sitting cutie mark. That would be adorable. He does seem to like us. And we hadn't exactly figured out how we're going to pull off this whole skydiving thing. You know what? As hard as it's going to be for me to part with these little guys, I think you should probably just take all of them. You ask me. <clears throat> The more critters you take care of, the more chances you have of getting some kind of critter sitting cutie mark. Am I right? Or am I right? Sure. Yes. But wait, how are we gonna take good care of them without treats for when they're good? And we'll make beds for when they're tired. And toys, they need toys. It's an afternoon. They don't need all that stuff. They'll be fine. We need to be able to buy them some things. One jewel might be able to cover it all. Uh, what would I possibly be doing with jewels? I happen to know for a fact that Applejack gave you a gem to watch Winona. Which means... Obviously, no one around here is getting a cutie mark for kindness toward a poor, hungry little dragon. Take it or leave it. We'll take it. Gonna put in some flour and add a little sugar for my five delicious jewels. Pink feathers would look so good with your eyes. Nah, uh, that bird could use a little color. Has anyone seen Tank's head? Where's his head? What have you done to the turtle? Oh, I totally forgot he could do that. <laughs> yeah, so pretty sure critter sitting cutie marks are out. And our critter grooming cutie marks probably aren't going to appear anytime soon either. <sighs> All right, load them up. And you can give me back that jewel I gave you. Sorry, we don't have it anymore. What? Why not? How do you think we paid for the industrial sized pet hair dryer? Zekora knows just what to do about all this bad mojo that's floating around you. I'm thinking a cage and a great big lock might be next. Zekora can take the bad away if you do just what I say. Really? But before I can do my duty, I'm going to need some of your booty. You think jewels are what you need, but there's no worse mojo than dragon greed.
And this is just between you and me, right? No other pony has to hear a word about it? Uh, a word about what now? This better be important. I can't have all of these animals on my train. Not without tickets, and not without chaperones. All I need is to get on for one minute, grab a bunny, and get off! Promise! A <laughs> likely story. No chaperone, no train. <laughs> Skydiving cutie marks. <laughs> is three ponies enough? At least I have you two left, my delectable little treasures. All aboard for the Crystal Empire! Crystal Empire? I've always wanted to see the Crystal Empire. I wish I were dressed for it, but still. We're not really going. We just needed to get on a train so I can get that rabbit. And when I do, we're off. What? It's not fair. <sighs> there he is! Next up, Crystal Empire! No, 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 no! So it seems like the Crystal Empire would be really cold, but I've heard that it's not. It's as warm as can be. Do you think the walls are crystal? <gasps> Maybe even see-through! Can you imagine see-through walls? <gasps> you can't, because we're not getting out of this car until we're back in Ponyville. There is no way, no hell, we're coming all the way to the Crystal Empire without looking around. No pony's gonna get past this dragon. Don't make me use this. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> out on all this. He would have had fun here. I'm sure he's having a great time watching all the critters back at home. Think he's still got a handle on things? If he's staying calm and collected, I bet he's doing a terrific job as a leader. Go ahead, Bunny. Do your worst. I deserve it. I ignored you, tried to pawn you off on someone else. I didn't take these silly things out, or fluff this like I was supposed to. I wasn't really thinking about you at all. Any of you. Just one of the jewels. I hope you'll all forgive me someday. You will? Oh, great. 
I'm gonna be the one who gives us away. Where did you... You all hear that? to scratch the belly on Winona. Oh, I miss her. I can't wait to see Aloysius. <laughs> Hello! Thought we need you at the station. So we could hear all about the Crystal Empire and find out if you brought us one of the crystal snow globes that they sell at the train station. How did you know about the snow globes? Um... Lucky guess? I've got to hand it to you, Spike. You did a really good job of taking care of the animals. Oh, Spike, Angel looks perfect. You did such a good job fluffing his tail. Yeah, well, more like this now. <laughs> you know who. <laughs> so what are you thinking? Bake him into a jewel pie? Ooh, six-layer gem cake sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. Oh. It really, really does. 